these things pretty quick and to the point. Uh, today is going to be actually a pretty simple concept, but it's probably going to be one of the most advanced webinars we've done. Uh, as always, I will put it on YouTube. You can certainly go rewatch it. Probably going to need to do that just to kind of follow some of my clicks and some of the things I'm doing. Um, but just to kind of summarize, you know, uh, obviously social media has been going on now for about 10 years, and it's actually been going on a lot longer. But from a business standpoint, businesses have been using it for 10 years. And I know a lot of you guys, you know, your skill level varies, people on today's call. Some of you are experts. You know, you've really taken it to the next level. Others are just starting to kind of invest time for your agency into it. Um, and I, I think the point of today's webinar is, one, certainly we're going to give you some really good uh, advanced ideas and concepts to use. But two, I think it's important to start to understand that social media is a lot bigger than you think. And there's many different angles to it is probably the best way to put it. A lot of the trainings I, I try to offer have to do with the real simple basics, setting up the correct pages, you know, connecting with the right people, posting strategic content to influence. And stuff like that has been a main focus of a lot of, uh, of the posting, uh, of a lot of the, the webinars. But I think it's important to understand that really the whole power of especially Facebook, is just the amount of people on there and the amount of information that is at your fingertips if you want to spend the time to find it. So what I'm going to try to explain today and what I'm going to try to teach you today is how you can actually go into Facebook and how you can actually get a target market's you know, email address or phone number um, by mining it. And you know, one of the most common questions I always get from people is, is you know, how did you get clients in 50 states without ever traveling? You know, did you do mailers? You know, and it's kind of like, well, even if I wanted to do mailers, how would I get all that information, right? And the way, you know, the way we've grown over the last 10 years or last eight years has really been through obtaining contact information for our target market. Uh, I actually have two employees that probably about 15 hours a week they're going into Facebook and LinkedIn, and they're doing these various things to obtain contact information of our target market. So really, the point of today's webinar is just to show you what we do, and maybe you can utilize it for your agency. Um, so that being said, uh, what I'm going to show you is I'm, I'm, I'm in Facebook, obviously, and we're just going to kind of focus on the top section right here, um, this big white search box where you can certainly type things in and uh, you know, search Facebook, almost like a search engine. So let's, my first example of the day is I'm going to use plumbers. So let's say we're looking for plumbers, and we're going to try to find plumbers in New Jersey. Okay? And the goal is to go in there, you know, let's say we're selling some sort of liability product, and we want to get as many plumbers' email addresses as possible to send out some sort of marketing ploy or marketing pitch on liability or something to that extent and we specifically want that target market what you would do is you would go into Facebook up top here and type in plumbers okay and it's gonna actually pull up plumbers who have pages but what you want to do is you want to go all the way down to the bottom and click on find all places named plumbers okay and again I'm gonna send everyone to YouTube with this because this is not not simple and you have to kind of pay attention so when you do that again it will start to pull up a list of plumbers you don't want to look at that because there's plumbers all over the world what we want to do is we want to redefine our search a little bit so over here on the right you're going to see a section that says places in so what we want to do is we want to get that down to New Jersey now you certainly can get it down to your own town if you want to Facebook will find it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select places in, and then I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and click other. And I'm going to type in New Jersey. And you want to type it totally in, and then you want to select it. Facebook is actually going to pull up that location. You want to select it. And what's going to happen is it's going to pull up all of the plumbers in New Jersey, um, and you want to go through the ones that have pictures. That means they have Facebook business pages in New Jersey, right? And you'll see there's probably hundreds of them. So I'm just going to click on, okay, so now we've pulled up our list. 
and I kind of have some notes here which I can send to people. So, um, you know, first tip I said was type in the target plumbers, select find all the places, select all the other places, and then type in the city. That's how we find our list. The next thing is very important. You want to make sure that you have two um, browsers open. So you can see down here, at the, hopefully you guys can see my screen here at the bottom. Here's my first Internet Explorer browser. Here's my second one. Okay? Again, this is a little complicated. This is not for beginners. This is advanced type concepts. What you want to then do is start at the top. And we're just going to start with Johnny B's plumbing. Okay? I'm going to put my mouse over it so it's underlined. And I'm going to right click and hit uh, copy shortcut. What that allows me to do is it allows me to open up the second browser and in the top highlight the browser, right click and hit paste. Okay? This then takes that specific plumber's page and pastes it into the browser. Then I'm going to hit enter. And what's going to happen is I'm going to end up on Johnny B's plumbing his page. I'm going to end up on his Facebook page. Now, you're probably saying, what are you doing? That seems very confusing. Here's what I'm doing. We don't want to just click on Johnny B's plumbing. Because if we click on it, then the page opens up. The problem is, is we lose our list. How do we get back to our list? Well, you can hit the back button, and it will pull up all the plumbers. The problem is, is if there's literally hundreds or thousands of these plumbers, you're going to lose your place. Right? We have to scroll. We've got to find it again. Sometimes Facebook reorders it. So in order to keep your list intact, right, you don't want to lose your place. You want to open up a second window where you can paste the page in to Facebook. Then what you want to do is you want to click the About button on the page. And here you go. Here's all the information. You've got an email address. You've got a phone number. You've got a website. Um, for me personally, we're taking, we, we usually just take the email address and we put it into our list. Obviously, we target it, target it, New Jersey plumbers, and that way we can send a targeted message. So you do that guy, you put it in a, your list, and then obviously you go back to the list, you go to the next guy, Plumber Joe, you right click, hit copy shortcut, paste it into the new window, hit enter, and go right in and hit about, and you know, um, obviously get his information. Now this guy only has a phone number, so we'll just put that in. Um, but I would say 95% <clears throat> of the pages have email addresses and websites. So you're probably thinking, okay, you know, that's interesting. Um, can I do it for, you know, people who are 65? The answer is not yet. Facebook's working on it. Right now, this is really more designed if you were going to try to type in some type of company name, accountants, plumbers, restaurants. Um, that's where you're going to find that type of target market. Um, yes, it's time consuming, absolutely. Do I do it myself? No. That's why I hired people to do it. Um, but at the end of the day, my distribution list went from 15,000 to 250,000 in six months. So my point is, is these are the exact type of people I'm looking for, people that are trying to grow their business because obviously they're using social media. Um, so let's go through two more examples, and then um, you know, certainly I'll send everyone the YouTube and this little chart here, and you can try it yourself. So let's try another example. Let's try accountants in Florida. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to go um, back to the Home button. Up top in the white search box, we are going to type in uh, accountants, right? So we're going to type that in, and we're going to hit the little magnifying glass to find. And um, then we want to select Find All Places Named Accountants, right? And what's it going to do? It's going to pull up a list, but we're going to ignore that list because it's got accountants in Africa and Europe. We want to then select Places In over here on the right and select Other and type in Florida. Okay? Then we want to select Florida. It will now pull up a list of all the accountants in Florida, right? And then we want to start at the top right click on Geller Reagans, hit copy shortcut, go into our second window, paste it in and hit enter. And now we're on their web page, their their Facebook business page. We want to click the about button and there's obviously their email address, their phone number, their website, and even their address. Um, we can then put it into our system. So 
so I, you know, people always ask me, well, how did you figure this out? And I, I think the, the, the reality is, is I did. I sat there and I just figured it out. And what, I'm, what I always try to explain to people is, is, look, your opinion of social media may be one thing. It may be good. It may be bad. I, I think it's irrelevant. I think what's important to understand is, is the game is changing. And, yeah, there's people like me that are figuring this out, but there's, there's people smarter than me, too. And, you know, I, I guess my point is, is that it's only 2014. I'm pretty confident this is going to be around in 2020. Where is it going to be then? So what am I getting at? I think I'm getting at the importance of staying educated on how this stuff works because it's becoming a huge, huge, huge factor. It's evolving. And most importantly, you know, if you're looking to communicate with people, they're on here. And their information's on here. And it's a way for you to obtain it very quickly, very efficiently, and for free. And it allows you to get in front of your target market very efficiently, which is all we're really after. So hopefully today's webinar was insightful. I know it was advanced. Um, obviously, moving forward, we will have a lot more beginner webinars and a few more you know, basic concepts. But I'm a believer that even if you're a beginner, it's always good to understand what the expert's doing because that pushes you to learn and it pushes you to understand that there's a you know, 10 more levels to what's going on. So again, I'll send everyone uh, the YouTube to this and a link to some of my step-by-step -step, uh, tips, and hopefully that'll be helpful. And I appreciate you coming on, and have a great weekend. Thanks again. Bye-bye.